Sweet. Well, all right, we'll go ahead and get this started. Uh, Coach Stepsis, if you want to go ahead and start with an opening statement, and then we'll open up the questions to Coach and the student athletes. Right. Um, appreciate everybody being here. Um, hopefully that was an exciting game. That was the goal. You know, we were, we were up 17 zip, and instead of just, you know, putting the game away, we thought, why not give the fans a full 60 minutes? But no, I'm kidding. Uh, exciting, exciting to win. Um, you know, especially against a, a good PFL team, and that's what Balpo was. You know, they, they play everybody really tough. Um, you know, they're going to win some games this year in the league for sure. And, and uh, you know, I thought defensively they, they really gave us some issues at times on offense. But, um, you know, I thought Luke, um, Luke Bailey, our, our starting quarterback, did a, a fantastic job really keeping us going. You know, he made some, some great throws. Uh, you know, we, we had some great catches. He made some throws that, that could have been even um, – could have had some more points on the board, so I thought Luke did a fantastic job. And then Jacob Thompson, uh, you know, Iowa guy here from uh, from Cedar Rapids, keeps showing up. You know, it's fun to watch nine out there. You know, he uh, he makes a lot of plays for us. Uh, you know, so if, if you don't know much about football, and uh, you come watch us play again on defense, make sure you you keep an eye on him because he's he's always in the backfield. But uh, proud of these guys. Um, proud of the team. I'm excited for. Uh, tonight to celebrate with our families and then uh, get back to work next or tomorrow. So, have any questions for coach or the student athletes? Well, Not all at once. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you guys choose Drake? Oh, that's great. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, for my personal story, I guess uh, it's because of Coach Step. Actually, um, one of my best friends moved to Kansas City and got a Drake like uh, Junior Day unofficial invite. And so I'd never heard of Drake, even though I'm two hours away. So I sent Step an email, and I was like, this is my huddle, this is where I go to school, whatever, the next day. I got an email back from him with the same graphic and everything, so I registered, signed up. I was at a, like a table for the uh, Arts and Sciences College, and he came up to me and knew my name, my parents' name, my stats, everyone we recruited from Cedar Rapids, who I played, how well I did against each team. And after that, I really knew that like, this is where I wanted to be. The coach is this invested in his players, and this is where I want to go. He was a running back as well, so like that was that was the thing. I like I've, I've coached. I'm as you can see, I'm I'm older, and and so I, I've been around a long time, and had some really fantastic college linebackers that were kind of cut from the same cloth. So um, watching him play and stand out in high school, it was pretty much a no-brainer for us. So. Yeah, and then for me, you know, I felt like Drake recruited me the hardest. I actually had Coach Cash as a recruiting coordinator. And he's not with us anymore, but he was fantastic, keeping in touch with me and everything. And then coming in on a game day visit, you know, I felt like it was home. And then I got the official visit. And just, just being with the guys, you know, you're going to spend a night at the house with, like, a bunch of guys who are, like, the Drake starters, like Gavin Deneen, like, he's a stud. And I got to, like, I got to talk to him. I got to spend time with him. And just, just being around the people, I felt like, you know, it was my home. And even being up here in the summer, um, just throughout my career, like, I tell my friends, I tell my family, like, Des Moines feels home to me. Like, when I go home back to Illinois, like, I don't feel like I'm at home. Like, when I'm here, like, this, this is the spot. Like, I feel like it's my home, and these are all my friends, and just great bonds made over here, so. And that's how the campus is, too, guys. Like, I, 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 I now it feels like I'm pitching uh, Drake University to you all, but. Um, oh, please do. Please do. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's, I, college football is a strange land. You know, and so a lot of the stuff you see uh, in the media um, isn't necessarily what you get uh, behind the scenes. But uh, I know here, I think it's just very unique. You know, we've got um, two guys that are fantastic football players, but they were looking for a sense of um, oneness. They were looking for a home. Um, they were looking for a place that was going to open them, open their arms to them, uh, regardless of who they are, where they're from, um, personal preferences. It, it, it really is a community here and a, and a home here. And so uh, to me, you know, that's, that's why I love it so much. You know, I, 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 why did I come here? Well, I, I initially came here you know, for a job, but why am I still here you know, 10 years later? It's, it, it's, it's home to me too, and, it's, and it has um, everything to do with the people that I get to be around on a day-to-day -day basis. So like, I get to coach these guys. And, um, we get to, to be a part of this great university that churns out world-class person over world-class person. Um, you know, I, it, there's a ton of alumni that came back to the game today, and I'm about to go, you know, say hi to a few of them. But I mean, I can just go down the list of 
you know, former football players, former Drake students that are doing amazing things in this world because of what they learned here. Um, not only on the football field, but just you know the values, um, the work ethic, the the training, the connections, the network that that Drake provides our students. It's it really is a one of a kind place in the Midwest, and so uh, yeah, I, I, this place is is home for me and and my family now. You know, I've got a ten year old and a seven year old that I raised here, and I can't imagine being anywhere else. We can dive into the game here. Like, yeah, Luke. Well, well, this is great. No, no, it's all good. But uh, Luke, uh, what's been working for the offense lately? A lot of big plays. I think a lot of credit to your receivers making some incredible catches out there. Yeah, you know, I'm always going to edge towards throwing the ball. Um, <laughs> I feel like we had a great passing game. Um, there were definitely some big plays to be had. Uh, I know we got Mitch on a couple of them. Uh, Trey had some great catches. So to me, it's, it's giving my guys a chance and throwing it to spots where I know they're going to be. Um, and then just building off of that, you know, we kept shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit there towards the end, um, but just putting games away and, um, you know, making sure I put the ball in the right spot for them. And then Jake, defensively, you guys again, back-to-back -back games where you're there, you know, with the final stand. Just kind of take us through uh, what, what happened there on, on that final drive and what it feels like to come up with another another game ceiling uh, stop. I mean, it feels great. I'm sure as you guys can all figure out, it feels awesome to win. <laughs> especially when we're the ones that put it away, it feels great. Um, a lot of pressure, but I know from last week especially, we gained a lot of trust between ourselves from the D-line, from the linebackers, from the DBs, everyone top to bottom. We've all started to trust each other more. I think that's been the key to us clinching out these games these last two weeks and just keeping these uh, games low scoring for the other team. I think that's the reason why, is because we just have so much trust between each other. And coach, it seems like there's big momentum swinging plays uh, that both your defense and offense have. Whether it's Trey Radica for an extra three points there, just taking the ball away from somebody there right, right at the end. Special teams had some big plays today as well. And then defensively, you know, able to turn the ball over, you know, for them. And uh, it seemed like all phases of the game had had some had some big plays here. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it... Yeah, there were definitely points in that game where, yeah, it's just it's, it felt like all three were kind of feeding off of one another. And I do believe that once we continue to play and we continue to work together and gel as a team, when all that stuff gets clicking at the same time consistently, you know, these maybe maybe they won't be as exciting of games for for us, and maybe not down to the last wire. But um, yeah, I thought yeah, offensively they came up big when we needed them to come up big, and then defense all day. Like I don't I don't have the the defensive stats. But it felt like the D line was like knocking down balls left and right, and I mean, as a quarterback, like it's super frustrating. You got maybe a wide receiver that's wide open, and you let it fly, and it comes off your hand great, and then all of a sudden this big paw comes up, and pop, knocks it down. So uh, you know, def that's the great part about our defense. It's it is a team defense. You know, it's not necessarily a guy or or a, maybe a, a level of it, but. All three, the D-line, the linebackers, the DBs, man, they, they play the game like it needs to be played. Man, 11 guys uh, together doing their job, knowing where their help is and playing with their hair on fire. It's, that's what that group does, and it's, it's fun for me to watch being a defensive guy. It's definitely fun to watch. Have a question here? Uh, I noticed that around the beginning of the game, there seemed to be a little bit of struggle with the run game. How did you guys adapt from that going into the rest of the game? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, they, they really did stack the run pretty good. And we knew they had a good D-line going in. And, and so um, you know, usually when teams are packing in, we try to spread it out a little bit. And so instead of trying to you know, get in our heavy people and, and move people and, and wear them down, um, you know, we maybe switched to some more wide outs out there and, and, and try, to, try to spread that middle out so we can still run the ball, which then the more you commit to the run, the more lanes you have in the passing game. So uh, we started to make a little bit of a switch there. And once we got through that first quarter, like, okay, hey, you know, it's, it's time to air it out a little bit and see if we can make something happen. Uh, I also have a question. Um, congratulations, you guys. You know, you won. You beat. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I will say, uh, during the fourth quarter, you know, we noticed, you know, the other team, uh, now, whatever it was, can't say the name, uh, you know, you know, uh, you guys had a pretty good lead and then, you know, they caught up near the end and it was getting pretty close, it relatively was, and so what's the main lesson that you're going to take from this game of what you're going to reflect on and change and adapt, so, you know, be better. Yeah. 
Can't say great. Do you guys want to answer that one? Yeah, um, I think offensively, like, we just got to put the game away. You know, there were opportunities for us to score, and we didn't capitalize. And so us, you know, um, having to punt the ball and then putting our defense out there um, just gives the other team hope. So I think it's just executing on offense mm -hmm. and at the end of the day scoring more points and making sure, you know, the team doesn't have hope and that we secure the win. So. Defensively, it's more of just staying disciplined. It's one thing we talk about every single day, every single practice, every single meeting, just staying disciplined. So I think getting out there in the last drive of the game especially, we knew that we had to make a stop, obviously, to win the game. So just staying disciplined. Communication was great on that last play especially. Uh, and just playing, like I said, as a team. Um, trusting everyone around us, trusting the D-line will get home, trusting that the DBs won't get beat over top, things like that. We have any other questions for coach and student athletes? What's it like being a Bulldogs head coach? What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> um, man, that's a great question. Uh, it's the best. It really is. Um, you know, it doesn't get celebrated enough what these guys do. You know, so again, like they're here just like the rest of our students are. You know, they, they pay tuition, they pay room and board, you know, they're not getting an athletic scholarship to play football. So they're not getting anything necessarily from us to give that kind of effort out there. They do it because they love it. And so like when you're around people that have that kind of passion for something, um, it just becomes infectious. And so, you know, for me, I get to be around 110 guys that the reason they're out there is because they absolutely love it. And so when you're around like-minded individuals that are high achievers and um, want the best for themselves, but also the best for the guy for the right and the left, it just makes, makes my job, I think, one of the best in the world. You know, just to be around these, these two guys and the rest of the team, um, they want to be here. And they're, you know, they've got a, a DNA that's just kind of unique and different. And um, that's why they're so successful when they leave here too. You know, they, they're, they're here because they love it, and they're not asking for anything. They're not getting a handout. They're, they're here because they, they want to be great, and they want to be challenged, and they want to be the best that they can be. So for me, that's the best part of this place is, is the players that we get to come here. Well, I tell you what, we'll let you guys go celebrate. Yeah. Coach Jake Luke, congrats on the win. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.